Hi there, my name is Renee Moise, and a little bit about myself. I'm a rising second year law student at the University of New Mexico. I currently work in the Northwest Justice Project Seattle office as a legal technology fellow. My job here is to research and develop ways in which legal services are being delivered through technology, so ways in which technology is being utilized to deliver legal services, particularly to low-income Americans. This presentation will cover five mobile and web apps that are out there for accessing justice. These apps are meant to simplify things like looking for a lawyer if you get a speeding ticket, knowing more about your rights in a particular location, preparing and practicing for naturalization and immunization process, creating a contract, or if you are just wanting to gain more information on legal aids and what they're doing around the country. One app that I found really useful for traffic violations and finding a lawyer is called Bernie Says, and it's an auction style app where you can actually upload the traffic ticket that you received, and lawyers can then make an offer by providing a rate. You can then go ahead and compare offers if you receive more than one. Um, so you can go ahead and compare lawyers based on the rates and any client reviews that are available through the web application. In addition, the app serves as a means of communication between lawyers and clients, so if you've ever had a lot of trouble trying to communicate with your lawyer, you can do it all on one simple platform over Birdie Says. So the next time you get a ticket and find yourself in need of a lawyer, this app might be worth downloading. Another app that caught my attention just from its name is called the Oh Crap app, and this app is really handy for police interactions. The user can open the app and activate its features during a police stop. So one of the first things that it does is it gives general advice regarding your legal rights and it does this based on location services. So it tailors the advice based on where exactly you're located. Two other really handy features that come with this app is the audio record feature which allows the user to record their encounter with a police officer with the touch of a button. And then it also allows the user to contact a nearby lawyer with the touch of a button if things start to get a little uncomfortable or they start to go south. This next app is useful for those on the pathway to citizenship and it's called Citizenship Works. It can help you determine eligibility so that you know if you're eligible to become a U.S. citizen and become naturalized. It offers practice tests for Things like reading and writing quizzes, touch flashcards that help prepare you for the actual exam, and it also has checklists that prepare you for completing the application and understanding the way that application works. It even comes with a directory of low-cost or free legal help providers so that you can find free or low-cost legal help, learn about finances, understand the application process further, or if you're just looking for legal representation. This next app is called Shake, and it's um, one of my personal favorites on this list. The reason being is that not many of us want to take the time to write a contract or legal binding agreement from scratch, and so this service provides tons of different kinds of templates. As you can see in this screenshot here, they have templates for freelance agreements, confidentiality agreements, uh, buyer lender agreements, and so on. And if you don't find something in here that you want to use in one of these templates, then you can create your own contract and put together clauses so you can just completely customize it based on clauses that you want to add in. And then this is really handy as well because then you just fill it out and you can even sign it within the app and store it in the app. So this, this is a really useful app for the average person that's maybe never written a contract and maybe doesn't want to consult with a lawyer. And last but not least, we have Legal Aid News for those that want to stay up to date on legal aid programs and what they're doing and articles that they're publishing. Uh, this is in a way to stay up to date on developments within your state on what your legal aids, your local legal aids are doing or those that are around the country. The app provides information on legal aid programs as well, including their addresses and contact information. So if you're looking for a legal aid in Montana, but you're located in Washington State, you can very easily access lots of information, some of the work they're doing, all in one simple application. So these were just some apps that I was able to find. However, a search, a Google search or an App Store search could likely reveal plenty more out there that are, that are great. 
and the development and use of mobile apps is on the rise at legal aids and law schools all over the country. So who knows, someday one of these apps could prove to be really useful and right at your fingertips. So definitely keep an eye out for new apps that are out there. And thank you for watching this video.